What's happening, cat daddies and foxy mamas? It's the Black Sportation Fanatic with another episode of Black Sportation Brothers, where we bring you some of the hippest, coolest cats from the Black Sportation era. And today, we are talking about Richard Roundtree. I believe very few people would disagree that Richard Roundtree is a cultural icon. Known best for playing the black private dick who's a sex machine with all the chicks, that bad mother Shaft, he parlayed the role of John Shaft into not only one of the most memorable characters of the black exploitation era, but in cinema history, period. Roundtree began his career as a professional model, having success with the Ebony Fashion Fair. But it's easy to see how his good looks and charisma would take him to the big screen. With three classic movies from 1971 to 1973, those being the original Shaft, Shaft's Big Score, and Shaft in Africa, it was then spun off into a TV series where Roundtree did seven TV movie episodes during 1973 and 74. He even resurrected the character in the Samuel L. Jackson-led 2000 reboot and its 2019 sequel, which, in my personal opinion, both of those were pure garbage and not worthy to be considered part of the Shaft franchise. His additional black exploitation credits include Charlie One Eye and Diamonds, a movie that was repackaged as Diamond Shaft as a way to capitalize on Roundtree's star power and make people think it was another Shaft entry. And although made after the black exploitation era had run its course, there was also one down, two to go, in which he starred with black exploitation kings Fred Williamson, Jim Brown, and Jim Kelly. Richard Roundtree is still doing movies and TV today, just as cool as ever. But I will always recognize him as one of the first true black action heroes we had on the big screen, and for that. We give him honor and tribute as a black exploitation brother. And if you want to see more like this, be sure to check out some of the other black exploitation brothers we cover. You can also check out our black exploitation beauty series, where we bring you some of the finest, foxiest females from the black exploitation era.